Okay, this is Danny Crumno. I'm about to do a Rattler update. I just got a a new one here, and uh, I'm going to try to show exactly how these things should be updated. And uh, I'm going to put it on a recording here on my computer and try to show it as I do it. So here we go thing that you're gonna do is uh, if you look at my computer here uh, mine come in at H which is right there now I didn't know exactly which drive it was so the first thing I did I turned on my uh, scope and I recorded a short video so if you click on that DCIM there's the video right there now you never want to put anything in that DCIM directory that is nothing but pictures and videos so if you see it says drive H right there I'm gonna go to the root which is drive H right there now it still shows the DCIM Okay, now I'm going to find my uh, Rattler update. I've got that recorded on Dropbox right here. So, uh, I'm going to go and find the update. Where is the update? Okay, you see Rattler update right there. All right that file is the newest update you're going to double click on that because you don't want to use it alright you've got three different files here now those you you don't use those technically either you got to do this in three steps the first step is here I'm gonna open that up see that digicap right there you're going to drag that over to the Rattler and see where it appeared there. Now, the next step is I'm going to turn my scope off and let it install that. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is turn my scope off. Now, I don't know if you can see that or not. Now, once it's off, now I'm going to turn it back on. Give it a second. And it should be updating it. You see it's updating. Should be able to see that in there. It's updating. It took a little bit to do it. It didn't just automatically come on. Took me a while. I, I was getting worried. But anyhow, we're going to leave that run until that update thing goes away. Then we have two more directories we have to update. And once you get to the other, you've done all three of them, then you're through. So we're going to let this run. I, I understand this first one runs about 15 to 20 minutes. And you leave it plugged into the computer so your battery doesn't run down. And we're going to bring up my scope. The scope will automatically cut itself off. So I'm going to go back into File Explorer. And I'm going to bring up my Rattler scope here. Now that took 15 or 20 minutes. And my H is there. All right. Now if you're looking right here, you see the DCIM is there. But that DigiCap file is gone. And that's what's supposed to happen. Now it took a good while. And it took it a while for it to come on. So 
Now, I got to go back. I got to do number two here. I'll open that up. Find the digicap. Drag it over. Now you notice the digicap file is on there. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn it off. This is number two. And uh, it's going to update. Now this one should go pretty fast. So I'm going to turn my scope off now. Leave it plugged into the computer. If you notice it's disappeared. Now I'm going to turn it back on. Now it's going to take a while because the scope has to come on. It has to connect. You notice it connect right there. Now it has to boot up. These things take a little bit to completely boot up. You know if you've got that 1x, 2x, all right, now it's upgrading. All right, we're going to pause again. It is upgrading. This one should go pretty fast. If you see this this uh, screen right here, choose a device to import from, I wouldn't use that. To me, that's junk. It's too hard to use. It goes better from File Explorer. And you notice I've got that Digicap thing there when I go back now I'm on the second one I have to do it one more time for the third one and once I do that the scope is upgraded so it'll turn itself off and it'll connect with the computer again when uh, it's upgraded with the second one if you notice right there I believe it's already through yep it's through so the second one takes very little time. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to File Explorer and open it up. Go to my H drive. Now, yours, no telling where Ooh. yours might wind up. If you notice that Digicap file is gone, they encrypt and hide those files so every body doesn't automatically get them. Now it's going to try to import and I'm going to cancel that and close that screen up. Now this is my scope over here. This is my uh, update. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to Notice it says Rectical Firmware. I'm going to double click on it. There's that Digicap file. I'm going to click on it. Drag it over here. If it'll go. There we go. It's going to load up. And I'm going to turn it off. And when it comes back on again, it should be updated. Let's see. This one should take hardly no time. All right. Scope is off. Let's bring it back up now. Remember, it takes a second. Don't get impatient like I do. All right, it's booting up. Now I'm looking in the scope. Still booting. It does an automatic NUC. And upgrading. It's now upgrading. This one will go real fast too. 
And uh, if you have something you'll notice right there is that one is FRGA firmware. I have no idea what that is, but it's evidently it's different. Uh, the reason I'm upgrading this new scope is because mine was moving too far. I want it to move that inch. Then says main firmware and rectical firmware. Now, I think my rectical was in there, but I'm not sure. I might as well update all of it while I'm doing it, and it's upgrading right now. The uh, computer should bump just as soon as it's finished. This goes pretty fast as well. That first one is the one that really takes a while. Like I said, your computer will turn itself off and reboot. Uh, not your computer, but your scope. Alright, let's pause this for a second while it upgrades. Notice it's still upgrading there. Waiting for it to go off. Okay. It is through upgrading for the third one. And if you'll look on my file explorer here. It's still booting up. This is Windows 10. It's got this thing here. Just cancel out of that. X out of it. We're going to go back down to the H. If you notice that digicap. On the third one, it's gone now. That is the way it's supposed to be. So, uh, to recap just a little bit, this uh, this Rattler update. Once you get it done. I don't know what you name it, but I, I name mine here. If you notice, it's got this is the most recent. You double click that. Then you got three more directories here. You have to do these one at a time. And the first one is the one that takes the longest. All you do is copy that file onto your Rattler. Do not put it inside that DCIM file. And then turn it off and let it reboot. And it will update, upgrade itself. Now, while I'm in here, how do you get your videos off of this? Well, here's the way I do it. Double click on the DCIM. Double click on that directory. And you've got all this stuff here. Well, I simply hit on the, see where it says MP4 video. All you got to do is click on that, control C to copy it, and then take it to wherever you want to take it. Uh, I take mine over here to unposted videos. And, uh, Control V, and that will launch your uh, video file. All I did was make this short video file to know for sure which one I had uh, drive I had this connected to. There wasn't nothing on it, but. Another little trick to that is that if you go into your DCIM, go here, you can actually delete all these files. And when you uh, turn on your record, it'll recreate them. 
So anyhow, that's just a little primer on the uh, computer there. Uh, if you notice my scope now, you notice my scope now is up and running and it's ready to go, still plugged into the computer. So it should be upgraded and everything should be right. We thank you for watching. You notice my scope now is up and running and it's ready to go, still plugged into the computer. So it should be upgraded and everything should be right. We thank you for watching.